Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nero Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog. Back for another vlog. Okay, if you watched my last vlog, things didn't go too well, okay? So I'm coming back with a vengeance. A vengeance, because guess what? Got a special vlog for y'all today. Special vlog. What you doing right now? Check it. Y'all, I'm out here, okay? I'm going to attempt to do my first catch, clean, and cook on the beach. That's right. I got my stove top. I got my utensils, I got my frying pan. So yeah, this is one one thing we have to accomplish today, okay? The goal today. Look, we can't do a clean and cook without the goddamn catch. That's right, y'all. Gotta catch a fish to make this video possible. Catch, clean, and cook does not happen without the catch, okay? So that's the goal, okay? So um, I got some shrimp, all right? We're gonna go out, cast out, try to get us some cut bait. Then from there, try to get us something, you know, Nice enough to eat, so that's the goal. I think I can do it. There she go, there she go. All right, last time I did this, I lost my whole goddamn lure. Not this time, baby. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, did I mention it's like 12 o'clock and I haven't ate, so I literally need to catch something or your boy's gonna die of starvation. I'm going to do it. Let go! Alright y'all, so here is the setup for my um, cut bait rig. A little spider weight. A couple of number three hooks. And that's it. We're going to use some dead shrimp that I had from last week. About two pounds only ended up using one pound so we're gonna try these hooks first these hooks could be a little bit too big but we'll try it out later switch to a treble hook possibly I'm not sure okay there we go so that's it man like i said we're just trying to catch us a croaker or a whiting um here is one of the remaining pvc pipe holders that i have uh, make sure you watch my last vlog you can see how i lost my other two Parking! But I'm gonna try something different this time. Shout out to Travis of Spartan Tackle. He has this thing where instead of just like driving it in, he digs a hole, buries it, and then, you know, does that. So I decided, sure, why not? So we're just gonna dig a hole to get a better. Setting on our PVC pipes just in case a stupid pelican comes around. All right. Down she goes. Stupid pelican. There we go. I can't believe I just told that man I'm trying to catch a shark. I'm lying. I don't want anything but a shark, y'all. There we go. Make it real. Set our drag. There we go. All right, y'all. So our cut bait. Rod and reel combo set up. Hopefully we can catch some cut bait. If not, it's gonna be a long day. All right, y'all, so I have my two surf rods set up. Double hook, six ounce spider weights on both as usual. Got my table set up here, nice and sturdy. Stove is in the truck, propane is in the truck. Cutting board, got my fillet knife. Y'all, I, I got everything, I'm telling you. So all we gotta do is catch a damn fish to complete this catch, clean, and cook. God damn, I got so many poles, look at this. I'm sorry, didn't mean to drop you. Matter of fact, let me load this up. And I'm gonna hold this one and see if I can feel the bite. Yeah, let me load this one up. I'll be back, I'll be back. All right, let me take a moment to appreciate the beauty of where I'm at right now. This y'all, look how beautiful this is. 
it's amazing. Sometimes I get caught up on trying to worry about filming and setting up shots. I kind of forget just to look around and just appreciate the beauty of nature. Now I just need nature to eat my damn shrimp. Can we get a bite, y'all? Did you finally get hit, goddammit? After one and a half hours? Did you finally get hit after one and a half hours? Can't tell if anything's on there. Really right now, keep reeling right now. I think we on, baby. Got some cut bait finally after an hour and a half. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Don't be seaweed, you bastard. Something swimming? What is that? Is that a fish? Yes! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Yes! There we go! Oh my god, look at that, y'all! Look at that, y'all! It's about goddamn time. What time is it, y'all? It took me an hour and 45 minutes to catch this damn fish. So Oh my god, that's a whitey too. It's about time, y'all. It's about time. Let's look out. An hour and a half to catch this. Alright, y'all. Sorry, battery died. So essentially, check it out. Caught a whitey. Now, I have ever, I've ever, I've never eaten a whitey before. Um, last time I caught one, everybody was telling me how good of a size these are to eat so i gotta make a, an executive decision because do i use it for cut bait to put on my surprise to try to catch something big that i can eat or do i you know just like you know what i'm gonna risk it use this for the actual um catch for my clean and cook so i can have something so i'm not gonna chop it up yet i gotta see if i can catch some more before i use it but we'll see we'll see it's looking promising Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm the only fisherman on YouTube that gets excited about catching a goddamn six inch white. I'm not tell you, man. It's not six inches, but you know what I mean. All right, y'all. Let's break it up and see can we get some more cut bait because if I can't get no more, you, my friend, is going to be the first fishing trips. Clean cook. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We just got hit. We just got hit. We just got hit. Fight it again, you bastard. Fight it. Let's go, let's go. Try to drag, try to drag, try to drag, try to Oh no. Oh no, no. Did I just lose my whole living? What the hell? The whole leecher is gone. Wow. What the hell? Ah! See what happened was I got a hit on my PVC pipe cut bait rod over there. My pan fears tried to set the hook. Gone. Entire leader gone. Now you're probably saying what kind of knots are you using right now? I'm just using a regular fisherman knot, alright? I know there's some kind of knot called a Pullerman, Pulowski, Pulowski. Penicillin. I don't know. I don't know how to do that knot. I know I don't know how to do that knot. I'll look it up on YouTube because personally it never fails. So yes, I'm a believer. I'm gonna try to use the new knot because I don't know what the hell it was. I took my leader, but it's gone. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. There's a bite. That's a bite. We on, baby. Fish on, baby. Okay. So I had to come out a little bit deeper to get you, huh? Had to come out and get a little deeper to get you. Stay on, stay on. What is that? What is that? No, no, come here. Come here, you bastard. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Another whiting. Okay. So you trying to tell me after two and a half hours, my dumb ass should have just waited out 30 yards a little bit farther from shore and I could have been catching fish this entire time. 
Okay. You know what? I think it would help if I take the hook out of his mouth first. Let's go. Little burger got some teeth. Put it in the bait well. We got two. We got two. There she goes. There she goes. All right. Last time I did this, I lost my whole goddamn board. Not this time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I don't know. It might be something small. I think I feel a head shake. I'm not sure. I got a... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Hell yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect size. Let's go. Cut bait. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all. So this one right here, this is what I've been waiting for, man. So this bad boy, perfect size. Perfect size to cut bait, man. Nice little whiting. So we're gonna split them up, put our surf right out. Finally, finally. Three hours, man. Now y'all know me and my ways of um want to be humane so we're gonna take this mallet okay I'm gonna tap it on the head lightly so when i chop it up it doesn't feel all the pain you might want to look away i'm sorry buddy <laughs> i'm sorry <sighs> okay it's fine he's all right sparky Whitey. All right, so we knocked them out cold. And what we're gonna do, let's take our fillet knife here. I'm gonna cut them up right here at the head and in sections as so. Yeah. One here. Another bear. Another bear. And we'll eat a tail. All right, so we got the head. Let me get a closer look at y'all. So we got the head here, midsection here, midsection here, tail here. So I'm gonna use this whiting, put my surf rods with two pieces in each, finally get them out and see can we get something at the last second. If not, it's all good. I still got two whiting I can cook, but I'm trying to catch a real fish for y'all so I can you know, do a real catch and clean and cook. So progress, progress. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, y'all, so let me show you my setup here. First things first, I ain't eating off of no damn banana leaf stirring my food with no goddamn stick or nothing. Yeah, I got this nice little set right here with some enamel tableware software. I got bowls, I got plates, I'm high maintenance, I don't care. Got a nice little 12 inch cast iron skillet, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? We got this beautiful Coleman Triton Series Ignition Start stove top indeed 16 ounce propane all i gotta do turn on the gas click my ignition boom fire all right we got our little igloo here i'm keeping it hella simple y'all i got check it out we got some butter we got two sticks of butter and i got some grounded sea salt and black ground pepper once again, I'm high maintenance, so yeah, don't judge me, all right? Got our fillet board, got my mallet, and that's all I need, you know what I'm saying? I got some bottle of water up in the crib, you know what I'm saying? My crib, my truck. And yeah, let's make it poppin'. So, as of right now, I still got my surf rides out with um, a smaller whitening that I caught, no luck as yet. It's been about, yeah, 30 minutes, no hits, but we'll see. But I have two very nice size whiting that I did catch and I decided to keep those and not risk it using for cut bait. But I never had whiting before. Last time um, I was out here 
everybody told me they were pretty good so we're gonna try some whiting um, with some butter sea salt light pepper I'm hungry and I have not ate today and it is currently 422 let's see let's see let's see what happens let's pray I don't you know kill myself burn down my truck or end up in the hospital I mean what's the worst can happen I mean it's me so you never know all right y'all let's get this started oh yeah okay so the star of the shows will be my white team okay so let's get one of these white in to get started here now i really wish y'all i had something better than white team to do a catch clean and cook with but you know it is what it is i still got my surf fries out so there's a probability that you know I can still catch something. Okay. So first we're gonna dispatch our whiting. And I got this beautiful mallet here. Just gonna just take it out of a misery real quick. Make it nice and quick. There we go. Now that's done. Next up, what we're gonna do is um go ahead and take off the head. Now I'm trying to figure out what's the best way I should cook it because you know I have butter, salt, and pepper. So I'm thinking maybe whole the skillet. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Put the head off there. All right. I really should save this head for like. Feature cut bait, huh? Yeah, man. Throw this in the freezer? Nah. Nah, I gotta have fresh cut bait. Alright, so we'll just throw that to the ocean. We'll let the crabs eat that. Okay, so next. I thought about filleting it, but yeah. I think I should probably just come up on the anal cavity and just gut it. Yeah, I'm gonna gut it. So we'll come over and look at you here. Come up. Ugh. Sorry if you don't like guts, people. My apologies. Just come up upwards. What the hell is that? Y'all see that? Just come upwards just like that. What the hell is that? Anyway. Move his guts. Oh, he has a shrimp tail. Y'all see that? It's a shrimp tail in his stomach. It's probably my damn shrimp tail. What you get? Shouldn't been messing around. Come up a little bit more. Uh, so. All right, y'all. Let me take off this jacket and risk getting ate up by these damn mosquitoes so y'all can see what the hell I'm doing. See what I do for y'all? See the commitment to the vlog? It can't get no worse. All right, so we have that. Gonna take up the guts. So, push it there. All right, y'all. Call it catch, clean, and cook for a reason. There we go, looks good, looks good. And actually, I need a spoon so I can get this kidney, get this kidney out. We're roughing it, y'all. We're roughing it with a 24 piece set on the beach. So I need a spoon. Oh, these are nice. Okay. In there. Get a spoon to kind of clean out that. And bring it in there. Sorry. There we go. Thank you. 
Put the pigeons behind me. Pigeons. <laughs> Seagulls behind me. They'll eat that. Alright, so next um we need to get rid of these fins. Let's come back to the truck. Came prepared. Cut these fins off. Gets no fresher than this, y'all. Gets no fresher than this. Cut the other fan off. There we go. One more fan. It would be nice if my damn surprise went off right now. Get interrupted by landing on a bull red. go we're making progress y'all making progress so um like I said I know I need to scale it I should have bought my scaler I thought about it but I'm like no nah, I'm just gonna play whatever I catch not anticipating catching something so small, but there we go. But you know, we can do it the old school way. Let's put on this glove because I have a strong inkling. Scale it up. Like that. Butter, baby, like butter. So I'm curious to know what whitey tastes like. You know what I'm saying? Is it like croaker? Everybody says it's good. We'll see. Definitely will see. Should we get a scale? Scale real nice and good here. I don't want no scales, y'all. Do the other side here. Scale it. Should have brought some damn grease. Yeah, I should have brought my grease, but it's all good. It's my first one. First catch cooking. First catch and cook. First catch, clean, and cook on my channel. So this is all the practice run. You know what I'm saying? Learn from my mistakes. Oh, what not to do. It's all good, though. I'm going the rest of the fish. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and split it a little bit more. So we can get a good idea of nice. I think I can just do it like that, man. So what should I think? Just do it like this. Put it on. Not the best looking thing in the world, but I think it'll work. Like that. I'm gonna butterfly some more right above that spine. Just like that. There we go. Some nice looking meat. Okay. That looks good, y'all. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right, so that's one down. One more to go. We'll just rinse it off. 
get the scales off and um <laughs> try it out. Let's see what we got. Let's get him out. Not my favorite part, but I think it's necessary. So we're gonna knock him out and take his head off. Clean a second, let's go. Yo, he is out. Cold, cut the head off like that. <sighs> Man, I know it's violent, but it's a circle of life. Let's feed the crabs. All right. Next up, skillet. I think scaling it is probably an easier option to do before gutting it. Now, even though there's a million mosquitoes out here, surprisingly, they're not biting me. That makes me worry, like. Are they waiting for the sun to go down just to attack? What the hell is going on? What kind of mosquitoes don't fight? Scales off. So, right now, note to self, bring your scaler next time. Although, this is working out magnificently. Magnificent? Magnificently? It's magnificent, goddammit. Let's get this other side right here. So imagine me having to do this for like a slot red. Man, that'd be a hell of a lot harder. There we go. Yeah, way more easier to scale it when you have haven't gutted it yet. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and gut it. We're gonna go through the anal cavity here. Let's come up, insert. Let's come right up. Just like that. There we go. Yeah. Take your spoon. Guts out, beat the bird. <laughs> Don't worry about the gut show. There's birds behind me waiting for me to leave so they can eat this. There we go. Last bit of guts out. Rope. these fins. Another fin. Oh, it's way easier. It's kind of dig into that skin. Okay. Let's see how much faster I'm going with the second one. Learn from your mistakes right now. Go. Way easier. Way easier. Okay, so this scales out the way on the board kind of lay it a little bit butterfly not lay it there you go go on the spine so it can open up keep it real nice and easy go on the other side of that spine Oh man, my progress. I'm just impressed with my own damn self. Look how much better I did that one, y'all. So much better. There we go. And that's it, man. Oh man, progress. That's my second fillet. Not a fillet, but, you know, whole. This one right here. Let's 
to the bigger one, so I don't know. Looks good. Need to rinse it off. Take some more of that spine off of this one. There we go. Just like that. Paint the birds. Oh man. So there you have it, y'all. Here's my two fish. My two fillets and I want to rinse them off. I don't want to use that. We're going to use Mother Nature. Mother Nature's um, sink. All right, man. If I do this, is it going to make it too salty? Mm, no, I don't want to make it too salty. We're going to be bougie. And just use a bottle of water. Move this out the way. Let's rinse off our fish here. I forgot to bring gallons of water. There we go. Nice, fresh fish. Scaled. Beautiful. Little worms. Let's rinse off our hands. All right, y'all, so. Clean our board area. There's our two fish. Ooh, progress. How long did it take right now? <laughs> We're 18 minutes in. All right, this is gonna be an hour long video, but whatever y'all ask for. Okay. So next up, um, turn on our gas for our propane. All right, here it. Gonna hit our ignition switch. <laughs> ignition switch. Got some more. There we go. Oh man, hold on, y'all. Is it on? I can't even tell. But oh, hold on. Oh, it is on. God damn. Sorry. Note the cell phone. <laughs> it's on, but you can't see it because of the sunlight. Put a pan there. Yeah. All right, definitely on. Definitely on. All right. We'll let that heat up. Just wash our hands off. All right, y'all. So we're going to wait for that to heat up. Then we'll throw our butter on and start round two progress so far so good so I got one two three four five six all my fingers in I haven't burned myself I'm happy stand by let's wait for this heat up and we'll come back oh. all right y'all so um got our stove it's kind of hard to gauge like how hot it is but we'll see a little butter smidgen of butter <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right so um apparently my heat is more than hot enough let's go in and turn it down a little bit oh my god <laughs> you know what i'm outdoors you know fire alarm right here <laughs> let's go baby all right so we got our butter bring this a little closer to y'all See what's popping. So we got our butter here. Butter smells amazing. Like I said, I haven't ate all day. I'm so hungry, y'all. Turn on. Heat up a little bit more. Alright, let's get our fish. We're just gonna go ahead and take our first fillet. Like that. Get our second fillet. Like that. And we cooking. Oh man, that smells so good. I don't know if I'm hungry or if it really smells that good. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some of our um, seasonings. Like I said, I'm trying to keep my seasoning super simple because 
I'm out here in the wilderness and he's trying to get all super fancy. I say he's trying to get super fancy and I got a whole grinder. That's crazy. Get my little salt. Okay, can open the salt. Open your salt. Okay. There we go. A little bit, a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. There we go. I love grounded pepper. There we go. Oh man, that smells so good. So good. There we go. See that catch? Clean on the beach. Beach. Fish. Beach. Fish. Smell the aroma. Let me just out here. Listen, listen, listen. What? The food point right there, y'all. Definitely food point. All I need right there, baby. You say nothing but a thing. Fish smelling amazing. around one more time. Oh wow look at that. Oh my god. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Let's try to smell it man. Now I didn't catch a trout, a flounder, or a red but I got a feeling this might be just as good. I think I got a feeling this might be just as good. Mm. We're gonna cook it for a few more minutes. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm being rude. A little bit more salt. We'll get a taste test and come back for the final results of what it tastes like, y'all. So give me a second. Let me change the camera. Um, we'll taste it out and see what we think of tasting whiting for the first time. All right, y'all. So here are the final results of that beautiful whiting fish fishes that I caught and yeah like I say let's go ahead and try it it's been one it's been one hell of a day y'all um I came here out at like 12 o'clock it's currently five o'clock and yeah so I was able to catch these two whiting it took like three hours to catch this as I was trying to catch something for you know my surf rods because I finally got it but you know whatever so I'm curious to taste this, see what it tastes like. Can't get no pressure than this. Oh my God. Now look, I don't know, is it because it's five o'clock in the evening and I haven't ate, but look at that. Or is this really that good? Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. You gotta get past these bones. Y'all see that? See that? Focus. Mm. Yo. This is so good, man. Like, I wasn't anticipating this to really be that good. Like, I had croaker before, and it's been like years since I had croaker. But this. It's just as good, man. I'm going to be biased and just say like, is it because I haven't ate all day and I'm just really hungry or is it really that good? It's really that good. I don't know why I haven't been doing catch plenty of cooks like forever ago, you know what I'm saying? This is, I'm so late to the party on this. Oh yeah. The meat is like flaky. And white. It's nothing but salt, grinded pepper, and some butter on the cast iron skillet. Mixed with a little mosquitoes and sand. Delish. Alright, y'all, so check it out. Doing catch cleaning cooks, 
is a lot of work. Way more work. Just being a, a fisherman YouTuber is a lot of work. You know, people just go out there and fish and that's all they gotta worry about. But when you're a fisherman YouTuber, you gotta worry about, you know, setting up cameras, getting shots, am I recording, plus fishing. But then you wanna throw in, oh, then I'm a cook too. It's so much work, so. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If y'all wanna see me do more catch cleaning cooks on the beach, sorry for this food. <laughs> Let me know. How many likes right now? I need 200 likes. This is a lot of work. 200 likes if you want to see me continue to do catch cleaning cooks on the beach because it's just going to get better from here. I think I can catch something even bigger, like a red or a shark. That'll be fun and exciting. So, yo, run up 200. 200, 200 thumbs up. Y'all want to see another catch cleaning cook? I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. I know I did. And I'm not trying to talk with my mouth full, but I'm so hungry and this is so good. Listen, man, if you never tried whiting before, yo, I don't think I'm using these for bait anymore. I'm just gonna take them home and eat them. God damn, this is good. All right, let me go. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you want to see another catch cleaning cook, I need 200 thumbs up. And yeah, 2021 is just getting started. I'm trying to up my game on the channel, bring out stuff you know you haven't seen before. And yeah, we're going to the top. Fishing trips is going to the top. It's been real. Um, I had fun. Is you? Yeah, of course you did. Anyways, peace.